Y chromosome disappearing, so what will happen to men? Question of whether the Y chromosome will disappear has divided the scientific world into extinctors and perpetrators. Y chromosome may be a symbol of masculinity, but whether this is something powerful and enduring is becoming increasingly controversial. In addition, although the Y chromosome contains the master switch gene called SRY, which determines whether an embryo will be male XY or female XX, it also contains very few other genes and is the only chromosome that is not essential for life. For example, women can live well without having this chromosome. Moreover, women have two X chromosomes with perfect normalcy, while males have one X and a nearly wrinkled Y chromosome that degenerates rapidly. If this degeneration of the Y chromosome continues at the same rate, we can say that 4.6 million years remain before it disappears completely. At first glance, 4.6 million years may seem like quite a long time, but considering that life on Earth emerged 3.5 billion years ago, it is not long at all. On the other hand, the Y chromosome wasn't always like this. Rewinding time to 166 million years ago, if we go to the first mammals, we see that the story is completely different. The early, pre-Y, chromosome was essentially the same size as the X chromosome and contained exactly the same genes. However, the Y chromosome has a fundamental flaw. Unlike all our other chromosomes, our cells have two copies of each, the Y chromosome has a single copy that has been passed down from fathers to sons means that the genes on the Y chromosome cannot undergo genetic recombination known as a mix of genes that occurs in every generation and enables deleterious gene mutations to be eliminated. Lacking recombination benefits causes genes on the Y chromosome to degenerate over time and eventually disappear from the genome. However, current research has shown that the Y chromosome has developed some convincing mechanisms to slow this degeneration, which in turn drives the gene loss rate into a stagnation. For example, in a study published in PLOS Genetics in August 2017, Y chromosome segments from 62 different males were sequenced and found to be susceptible to large-scale structural rearrangements that allow gene amplification. The research also revealed that the Y chromosome developed unusual structures called palindromes, which protect the chromosome from further deterioration. The research team recorded a high rate of gene conversion events in palindromic sequences on the Y chromosome. This process was basically a copy-paste form, allowing an undamaged backup copy to be used as a template, allowing damaged genes to be repaired. When looking at other species, the Y chromosome is found in mammals and some other species. Much evidence suggests that Y chromosome gene amplification is a broad general principle. These more powerful genes, N, amplified genes play critical roles in sperm production and, at least in rats, regulating the sex ratio of offspring. A study published in Molecular Biology and Evolution in September 2017 suggested evidence that the increase in the number of gene copies in mice is a result of natural selection. The question of whether the Y chromosome will disappear has divided the scientific world into extinctors and perpetrators. The goers argue that the defense mechanisms do a great job and save the Y chromosome, while the extensors group interprets these mechanisms as holding on to nails before falling off the cliff. Consequently, the debate continues. According to the extinctors, the Y chromosome will inevitably disappear, albeit longer than expected, in the long term. A study published in Bioessays in June 2016 suggests that Japanese spiny mice and mole field mice have completely lost their Y chromosomes, and genes lost or created on the Y chromosome will inevitably lead to fertility problems. This could eventually lead to the formation of completely new species. Men on the edge of the abyss? Even if the Y chromosome in humans is missing, this does not mean that the males will fall off the cliff. Moreover, species that have completely lost their Y chromosome also require males and females for reproduction. In these cases, the master switch gene that genetically determines masculinity, SRY was moved to a different chromosome, eventually producing male individuals without a Y chromosome in these species. 
However, the new sex determining chromosome, the new chromosome to which the SRY gene has been carried, will restart a new degeneration process from the same lack of recombination that previously led to the shrinkage of the Y chromosome. On the other hand, an interesting situation in humans is that, although the Y chromosome is essential for normal human reproduction, most of the genes carried by this chromosome are not necessary if you use assisted reproduction techniques. That is, genetic engineering could alter the gene functions of the Y chromosome in the future and allow fertility of same-sex female couples or infertile men. However, even if it is possible for everyone to have fertility in this way, it still seems unlikely that fertile people will stop reproducing naturally. Although this is an interesting topic in the field of genetics research that has been discussed recently, we should say that there is no need to worry. Moreover, we do not even know exactly whether the Y chromosome will disappear completely. Even if this happens, as we mentioned above, we will likely continue to need males to continue normal reproduction. On the other hand, of course, indeed, the prospect of a farm animal type system in which a few lucky men are chosen as fathers to most of our children is certainly not on the horizon. In any case, this will be far from worrying for the next 4.6 million years.